we didn't do e well. So uh, it's been one of those boring days. And uh, well, not boring. Anyway, I took time out spending the day with wifey. Now I think I'm gonna take a ride on an old dad bike that I haven't rode in a month of Sundays. And let me tell you, I haven't rode this bike in so long that I even forgot that I had replaced the controller on this thing. I even got this little uh, voltmeter right there. And uh, let me power this thing off. <sighs> Maybe you can see. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe you can see this controller I put on here. Yeah, that's the controller right there. And that controller, that I forgot, can handle 72 volts. And uh, yeah, I had put it in the bag. If you notice, if you look at it from that way, it's in this black bag. And uh, what happened, one day we, me and my buddy were riding. It was a long distance ride. And uh, the controller started... Uh, overheating so you know when controllers get hot they cut out so partially I'm sure because it was in that bag so what I did that particular day was uh, made a cutout and exposed the heat sinks and uh, ever since I did that that was just enough to uh, to let it run cool enough now um, where is my, we're gonna take this thing for a spin. Let me put my Speedo on here, my favorite Speedo app. Thunder Speedometer, as you can see. I think they have one that matched my dad bike, this one right here. But uh, yeah, it matches my bike nicely, but at the same time, that screen would be a little too small for you guys to see. I can't even remember what speed this thing did. But I know one thing. Now that I just remembered that I did put a bigger controller on it. Uh oh. Got to turn it back on. And let me show you how I got this thing. This is a UPP triangle battery. And I was able to fit it in this nice triangle bag perfectly. Now, if you look in there, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, there's U U UPP pack in there. And uh, I just powered it on. And uh, this bag is nice because you can access it from both sides. If you look on this side, it even has the little percentage meter on that, you know, those UPP batteries. Those UPP batteries are nice. They're hard case. Hard case packs. But uh, anyway, by being in that bag, Unless you are an e-biker like we are and you know what that is in the back Most people don't even know this is an e-bike So uh, it's under the radar for sure So Anyway Man, I, 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 I forgot Forgot just how great this thing was Oh rock shocks on the front I think I need to adjust the preload on that. But anyway, let's uh let's watch the old Speedo. See what the old dad bike can do. And by the way, that is GPS. So there ain't no bullshit there. That's GPS right there. Man, I love this thing. You wait till I put 72 volts on it. We're gonna take a, a ride, uh oh. It's traffic. We're gonna take a ride down the old strip. And see what speed we can get up to. We're going to pedal a little bit, help you get up going. But, uh, there we go. Not 
too shabby. I forgot how much fun this damn thing was. And how light it is. All right, let's take a ride downhill and see what we can do. Let's get in our truck position. I feel the controller cutting off. You know what we can do for that? We can do the old shunt mod. That's right. For a lot of you guys that don't know what the shunt mod is, the shunt mod is on these class two and class three controllers uh, that are governed to cut out and, and limit current at a certain speed. If you do the shunt mod by uh, basically what you're gonna do is load the shunts up with solder. That is gonna make it deliver more current flow. And uh, more current flow is always what we want. Man, I tell you what. With some more current flow, even on this 52 volt pack, this thing might do the huckabuck. And like I said, I was gonna fit, I was gonna 72 volt this thing. But before we 72 volt it, let's do the shunt mod. And like I say, for you, uh, you guys that don't know what the shunt mod is, I'm going to show you. Uh, you can Google it on YouTube, but I, I'm going to do it on my channel. But uh, the shunt mod is very effective on a lot of controllers, especially a lot of the factory e-bike controllers. Uh, I'm sure it works great with the spark cycle bikes, the huck bikes. Uh, I haven't heard it as being too successful with the Super 73s, but there's not too many people who have done it with the Super 73s because them damn things are so expensive, people are scared to void their warranty, so they don't do it. Of course, if I had a Super 73, it would be shunt Marty. I have to see. Because honestly, if I had a Super 73, there's no way I'd be riding around with a stock controller on that damn thing anyway. So before I switched it out, I would uh, take those controllers to its max. And the only way you can max out them controllers is do a shunt mod. And uh, believe it or not, let me tell you something. If this controller responds well to the shunt mod. I think this controller that I upgraded to is 25 amp because what I had on here originally was a scooter controller was a 17 amp and I upgraded to a 25 and uh, with this I'm gonna tell you the difference that it made. It ain't you might not think it's all that great but it was it was good for me. Uh, the 17 amp controller was maxing out at about 27, 28 miles an hour. When I upgraded to this 25 amp controller, as you see, I can reach 32, all right? That's with 25 amps. Normally on a shunt mod, that, you'll get about double out of those MOSFETs. So uh, let's just say, I think this is a three MOSFET controller, or uh, 18.2, as they call it. Uh, I'm not sure, I gotta relook. But uh, 
it may not be that much many tubes but uh normally you get double so this 25 amp controller i do the shunt mod this controller may be capable of 50 amps and 50 amps at 52 volts is uh let's do the math on that real quick that's about 2500 watts up in the 2500 watt range and uh let me tell you right now at uh 25 amps at 52 volts that is about uh 1250 about 1250 watts so yeah if we're getting uh 32 32 miles an hour at 1250 watts uh of course the speed is not going to double just because you doubled the watts but you'll probably get about a 10 percent 15 to 20 percent increase so uh let's just say uh if we're successful we should go from 32 to maybe 40 miles per hour and that's normally about the speeds you get for about 2500 watts 52 volts so uh yeah man this dead bike right here do 40 miles an hour man it'll be off the shazane and i tell you what it performs really well it's stable i don't get no a lot of steering shake or steering you know any any steering torque or anything like that man this thing this thing does really well that's a grin 212 motor on the back and it can surely handle the power absolutely so let's just uh do a little more hypothetical if i just go to 72 volts 72 volts with 25 amps uh roughly my math on that uh let's see i'd say we'd be somewhere up in about 16 to 1800 watts somewhere in there somebody do the math we go to calculator i'm trying to do it in my head but uh yeah 72 volts times 25 yeah i say about 15 1600 watts somewhere up in there so let's say if we do the shunt mod and get 50 amps 50 amps on 72 volts oh man we're talking about over uh over 3500 watts at that point 3500 watts on a dad bike i guarantee you if i can do that 3500 watts at 72 volts on a dad bike you might not believe me but this thing should be up well over 50 miles an hour absolutely absolutely it might be high 50s at that because this bike weighs nothing nothing and uh where you at lou my buddy lou he said he wanted to see me arm curl that uh <laughs> that that lightweight bomber bike i'm sure i can arm curl this thing maybe not kind of old this thing is a little heavy with that battery but it is way lighter than uh my bike oh yeah oh yeah i can arm curl it a little struggle but uh yeah thing ain't that heavy you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely see that this this bike is light very light very light uh compared to my bomber bike so 3500 watts on this thing oh man we we, we cooking anyway i normally try to uh pedal off and uh get those spokes get those spokes a little bit of a break because they're not heavy duty back there so i don't try to put a whole lot of torque on that wheel so uh it's it's you you wouldn't believe how much stress you take off of your motor your battery and your controller just by pedaling off when your motor doesn't have to take off from a dead stop and immediately start pushing a lot of weight from a dead stop yeah you, you you save a whole lot of things you save your motor your battery everything but uh i can hear this frame i can hear the torque uh 
through this frame from a dead stop so that's why I pedal off you'll hear like the frame cry a little bit like you know that, that this uh chrome molly frame is super lightweight and thin and you know with that much uh foot pounds of torque on that back drop out you know it it caused it to uh to cry a little bit and that is one reason why i did not like uh modifying and look fellas you can get mad at me but the truth is what it is uh if you remember i modified a uh, super 73 s2 and i put the exact same setup that i had on frank now let me tell you that zugo frame is a whole lot beefier than a super 73 all day every day that zugo frame is thick and heavy duty that super 73 frame it's a nice frame very lightweight but at the same time that super 73 frame as well could not handle a lot of rear end torque uh when i took off from a dead stop with that thing under a lot of torque you know uh you could hear that frame flex as well and it would mainly be like around the seat area uh, they didn't have a lot of cross members on that frame so when there was a lot of torque applied to that dropout you could hear that frame you know it squeak and make the frame squeak when you take off but uh, yeah so that's another reason why I wasn't too impressed with the Super 73 I don't know if they're all that way maybe the rest of the frames uh, hold up a little better but that S2 that S2 did not like it and uh, not just that, man. I've seen uh, where people had accidents with Super 73. In fact, the, that YouTube guy that looks like he got that him die young. I'm not going to call any names. <laughs> but there's a YouTube that looks like he's sick. But anyway, somebody ran into the back of him on a Super 73. And that bike just broke in half. Yeah, it broke in half. So, you know a whole lot of Super 73 fans out there, but... Those things ain't designed, obviously, for a lot of hard impact.